Please. Good boy. Please. Good boy. Come. Good boy. Please. <laughs> Off to the scene of the crime. Back to the house where Lenny has done a sloppy one outside. My dog's just had like a sloppy <laughs> outside. I was just wondering if you got some water. I don't want to leave it outside. Stop passing the bathroom! Apologise to Percy for Lenny taking a dirty <laughs> outside the house. I still can't believe how mad that went, you know. It went wild. Like yeah. I went and fought that next week and more people asked me about that video than me opponents. People were messaging me saying, oh, is this you? <laughs> my voice. Your voice. I've never felt so embarrassed for, my, <laughs> for weeks afterwards. All I could hear is, is that Addy? Is that Paddy the baddie? I saw, like, you, saw that... your dad in the brekkie lounge yeah, the other week. Exactly. Yeah, he said. Yeah, yeah. You make us laugh, just see him. <laughs> I'm the a lot of messages there. I'm sitting about going yeah. round to see you. Need to apologise in person for. Oh. But it's mad the way we've just come to yours now because Laura's just said the same thing. We've just got the dog back off me bed. She's just had to knock on someone's house and ask for a bottle of water. <laughs> He did, it's like literally sexy. just now. Literally, 10 minutes ago. How did it come about? I believe you shared it, like, what, with a brother? So, I, um, I've got, like, a WhatsApp group with all my, yeah. uh, like, my cousins and yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, your family. And I'd sent it onto the WhatsApp group. Guess who's just being at ours? <laughs> and then sent it in, everyone was like, oh my god, that's so funny. I fell asleep and woke up and my phone was going mad and I was like, what's going on here? <laughs> so then, and someone was like, Abby, it's on that Bible. I was like, I've only sent it into a WhatsApp group. And I was thinking, oh no. Uh, did you see some of the American pages it ended up on? No, I ended up on Sports Centre, yeah, ESPN. Yeah. yeah, I'd been sent yeah. that by the time I got home with the dog. So, where you fell asleep right away, by the time I got home, I got sent yeah, that like three times. And you know what it's like in Liverpool? It's yeah. so small. Everyone knows everyone. Everyone knows everyone. Yeah. It's all right. Say sorry, then. I forgive you. Yeah. Say sorry. I guess the underlying messages. You know, your dog. Yeah, exactly. It's actually don't know what the way we've just come to me, Laura, when she went out before she got poo bag and ran back in <laughs> because she looked on the floor and someone's let the dog have a outside my house by the wall and hasn't picked her up. So wherever you are, you're a scruffy little bum. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? Listen, thanks so much for having us. Oh, thanks for having us. Thank you very much. I have to tell the baby happy birthday as well. Oh, the will do. Happy birthday for Thanks so much, love. Oh, Hello, worry. thank you very much. Pick me best sandals, please. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, Thanks later. again, lovely. Oh, so this is Lenny's episode of the vlog. Everyone loves Lenny, he's the star of the show anyway, so he's got his own episode now and a couple of months ago we had a dog trainer over, Nick, who was training him and we got some of the footage, it's absolutely amazing. Have a look. Am I getting a shower? Am I getting a shower? The face is just like, mm. he doesn't like water. <laughs> Lad, can he still done? Okay. Come on, get Good boy. No. Oh, back out he gets. You're gonna smell nice and clean now, lad. Come on. Show your scrubbing, Blackie. Snow. Not escaping. Turn your water. You know, Blackie, Lenny. How often do you have to do this? We don't do it that often. It's only when he gets. Everyone else says he stinks, but we don't smell it too. Yeah, people say Where the heck are you to it? Are you staying there? Yeah, fresh to death, lad. Me and Lenoid. Dressing gown, lad. Laura got him this. Obviously. You know what I mean? I'm not going to buy the dog a dressing gown. It's a bit on the chubby side of life. Lenny, what's this? What's this here? Coffee! Only thing is, I end up covered in hair. Yeah, the dog If you haven't seen a dog for eight days, it's gonna be mad seeing him. Lenny's been with a dog trainer, American dude, actually lives in Florida, called Nick White. He's worked with several MMA fighters and coaches' dogs, John Jones, Rashad Evans, Greg Jackson, Dan Anderson. When he offered to train Lenny, we jumped at the chance. He's the best about like you can tell. Literally within two days, Nick had him off the lead walking next to him, so it's the dog whisperer. What's up, what's up? The day you've been waiting for, Laura? I've spent the last week training Lenny. Now that the dog is trained, now I have to spend the next couple hours training Patty and Laura, teaching them the system, teaching them how to handle Lenny properly. You know, there's a lot of bad misconceptions about e-collar training, yeah. primarily because there's a lot of really bad trainers out there. 10, 15, yeah, a little 20. Bit. Now I feel it. 90% of what you're gonna see Lenny do is gonna be lower than that. Yeah. The things we're gonna cover is come, sit, down, place, and off. He goes to hump someone, off. off. He has the ball okay. in his mouth, you saw, off, he drops it. He has a shoe in his mouth, as I've seen, off. he has a fetish yeah. with, off, 
he drops uh, it. Was so. he doing it with you guys? Yeah. Oh yeah, he like creeps into the bedroom, snags a shoe, he's yeah. out. Yeah, he doesn't even chew Yeah, he doesn't chew it. Oh, he just lies on it. Yeah. Thing. So here's how it's gonna work. You're gonna go, Daniel, come, come, come. <laughs> he gets to me, yeah. reset, sit. He's not gonna do that. <laughs> so place is whatever I point to, you go there, get on it, and don't get up till I say so. Till I say so. How are you feeling about those instructions? Sound, very good instructions, lad. We'll see if we can do it with him now. Because there's a lot to take on board there, though, isn't it? Yeah. I've got a brain like a sip. So, I should be okay though. We'll get used to it, lad. We'll get the hang of it. That's the main thing. Goodbye! <laughs> Lenny's been an incredible dog. Very sweet. Always staring at you, focusing on you, trying to get in your lap. Just a really smart, very intelligent dog and he really took well to the training. He's gonna try and take the piss out of us, lad. I know he is, thought he does. All right, Patty. Do this. Hello, lad. Just throw some in ah. your side pocket. Saying that, that's what I need to start doing. Ah. Off, off. Yeah, off. Please. Get closer to the dog bed. Get closer, oh sorry, close to the bed. Please. Reset. Come on, good boy. One seat, good lad. Sit, sit. No. I went to point, I was gonna say down, but he just, as I pointed, he just lied down on his own. Please, good boy. Please, please. Good boy. Please, good boy. Lenny, come. Good boy, please. Fish! <laughs> Good boy! Fish! Come on, lad! Good boy! Lenny, place! Place! Good boy! Fish! Come on, lad! Fish! Sit! Sit! Good boy! Lenny, fish! Good boy! Good boy! Good boy, my lad! How's he doing, Laura? I think it's how we doing. <laughs> it seems like quite the transformation, like to be honest. Because <laughs> it is. Deal. Lenny. Good boy. Good boy, that's better. Yeah, my rule is on leash to maintain, to make him good, off leash when you're both good. Heel. Good job on using that hand as a guidance, that's perfect. We understand it, like, you know what I mean? But as I say, get used to this, this will be quite easy. Please. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. My best piece of advice is if you get a dog, the first thing you should do is provide training for them so that way you start them with good confidence good socialization a good foundation good structure good obedience someone actually said to us it was too late to train lenny it's never too late i've trained 10 year old dogs to do what lenny is doing yeah but if you find a trainer who tells you the age is the issue that trainer is the issue not your dog so lenny come this is pretty much a private dog park, so there's hundreds of dogs here every week. So he has all the smells, he has the urine, and Lenny's, like most dogs, very distracted by dogs. So we're kind of using this field to work on his recall. Can't wait to just to be able to take him out for a run where it's just me and him, and he's, I don't have to keep pulling them up towards me. If you do this with them for the next couple days, you'll be able to take yeah. them off. Please. That's yeah. what I can't wait for, lads. Lenny, come. Lenny's been a great success, you know, and I'm not saying this because you guys are here, he'll vouch. I'm like, I think he's one of my favorite dogs that I've ever had. He's sweet, he's smart, he's eager to please. Yeah. Like he wants to do the right thing. Most of the time Lenny would mess up or not do what I said. It's not because he was fighting it. It's just because he made a mistake just like yeah. people do. So yeah, he's an incredible dog. He's a baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird, to be honest. <laughs> it's not normal. Literally a week ago, you were there. Yeah, he said you were there. So I'd say a week ago, we wouldn't do this, you were there. We tried to get him to sit. He just laughed at us and started walking at us. Now that, completely different. He's such a good dog. Nick's the man. <laughs> you don't need to say much more than that, he really is, lad. Uh, 
Lenny was hard work. Now he's going to be a completely different dog, and it's brilliant. It's absolutely amazing. It's going to change our lives and change his life. More importantly, he's going to have a much better quality of life now off the lead, having a good time running around and then listening. Take care, guys. Bye. Later, guys. Bye. Thank you very much. Bye.